On Sunday the 26th of June 2016, the Airfields of Britain Conservation Trust travelled to East Church on the Isle of Sheppey in Kent to unveil their 56th airfield marker. Most of East Church Airfield was built on soon after it closed. However, some buildings and roads still remain and are still in use. An overlay of the airfield on an aerial photograph shows how extensive it was in its heyday. We would like to thank Peter West and his fellow trustees of the East Church Aviation Museum for all of their help in organising this event. After the unveiling, refreshments were served in the adjacent cafe. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, first, a few words of welcome from me. I'm Peter West. Uh, I'd especially like to welcome Mr. Kenneth Bannerman, who's going be here. He's the chair of the Airfields of Britain Conservation Trust, which has so generously donated the commemoration stone that we're here to see today. You are gathered on the site of one, if not the, first aviation practice in the world. When I do the coach tours, that usually gets a new. So, shall we try that again? One of the first aviation factories in the world. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you so much. So, let's say a few thank yous and welcomes. Thank you, first of all, to Jenny Herkett of Blue Town Heritage Centre, who, without her foresight, and support, this project would never have taken place and we would never have been standing here. So, thank you, Jenny. Thank you to our hosts, HMP Stanford Hill, to the governors, the staff, especially the ground staff, and to the lads who worked hard to make this area so nice for us this morning. Thank you to East Church Parish Council, the councillors and secretary for their support. And then welcome to Madam Mayor. Well, Madam Mayor, I thought you were there you are. Leslie, welcome. Ward councillors and county councillors. Sheppy Air Cadets. Sheppy Sea Cadets. The RAF Association Fabersham Branch and RAF Association Medway Branch. Royal Naval and Royal Naval Air Service Association, Royal British Legion, the new Short Brothers Memorial Society, Heritage Research Group of City Hall, and the Sheppey Historical Society. Uh, a very warm welcome to those service personnel of senior years who have come to see us. Thank you. If there's anybody I've missed, please forgive me and consider yourselves warmly welcome. And now, without further ado, I will pass you over to Mr. Kenny Batman. Thank you all very much for attending. Uh, just to explain, I'm the founder and leader of this national charity. East Church Airfield has the most fantastic history, even by airfield standards. A real pioneering place was, I know, Still remembered, but maybe not as much remembered man as he should have should be today, called Francis or Frank McLean. He was a private businessman, rather wealthy, and he actually, through his own good nature, acquired this piece of land to become an airfield. This was towards the end of 1909. The first man to fly from here was one Charles Rolls, who is far better remembered these days as one of the founders of Rolls-Royce. Its biggest claim to fame is undoubtedly that it became Britain's first naval airfield. World War I saw uh, activity increase even more, and certainly for the first half of World War I, it's fair to say that East Church Airfield was Britain's top naval airfield until certainly Cranwell in Lincolnshire came on the scene. Enormously busy in a training and operational capacity, and it played a real part in winning World War I. In the Second World War itself, East Church again became extremely busy. It, but this time it had a variety of roles, but notably it helped provide salvation for these very brave Polish airmen 
who had to flee their country at the end of 1939. They came to East Church at the end of that year. And then in the Battle of Britain itself, as you may well be aware, East Church was terribly badly bombed. Uh, there was one raid in the middle of August 1940, in which sadly many people lost their lives, and there was the most fearful damage here all round. Uh, East Church kept going, but then by the start of September 1940, the place had been so badly bombed that it had to be effectively abandoned. And although this is not perhaps recognised, East Church for a while into 1941 became that rarity, a real airfield that also served as a decoy airfield to lure enemy aircraft to attack. There were nearly 300 decoy airfields in Britain during World War II. By the spring of 1941, after all the damage had been repaired, etc., East Church got fully going again. And it saw a variety of flying and ground training tasks, and they played a major part again in winning the second world conflict, never mind the first one. Notably, in 1944, British Hawker Typhoon Fighter Bomber Squadrons trained here for vital rocket firing uh, practice in preparation for D-Day. Eventually, in the summer of 1946, the last IAF unit left, and the airfield itself officially closed during the following year, after which, by the early 1950s, the first prison came into play, followed by the two newer prisons. So, thank you all very much for your time. Now, just before we, we unveil the memorial, we've, uh, this has been just a very, very short notice, but the East Church bell that actually was around at the time of the Battle of Britain is now here with us as well. So, uh, we, we can just a ceremonial ringing of the bell. It's a presentation by the governing governor. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> that, that in its own small way just shows how important it is to remember East John with Peter and his colleagues to unveil what is now ABCT's 56th memorial Hundreds more planned over the years to cover, move this fast we can with us, to yet another of Britain's greatest assets, as are being increasingly recognised, that are helping all of us. In this case, the one and only East Church Airfield. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to do the exhortation. And at the end, we will remember them, or would like you all to be engaged. We will remember them. They shall grow not old, as we that are left no old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years to death. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you so much. Well, that uh, concludes the religious ceremony anyhow, and thank you all very much again for attending, and we hope, apart from w wishing you well with uh, hope this brings you luck, but more importantly, that I hope that this memorial provides a very permanent reminder for everything that East Church and all who have served here have done ever since 1909. We can't ever, ever forget what they've what they've done for this country and indeed the whole world. So just please always remember that just in your thoughts. Thank you all very much.